Andrew Friedman is associate professor in infectious diseases at Cardiff University. He joins us now live from Cardiff. Thanks so much for speaking to us. How encouraged are you, first of all, by this uh, lab-grown virus? Do you think it will likely lead to a vaccine? Well, there are, as I understand it, there are already some vaccine candidates that have been uh, developed. But it does take a long time. Uh, we're talking several months before we are likely to have a, a vaccine which can be uh, used routinely. It has to be tested first for, for both safety and efficacy. Uh, but the, the Australian scientists are uh, able to reconstruct the virus. That's certainly an important step that, that can help both in vaccine development and possibly in developing drug treatments uh, as well. Okay, you know, so far the death toll in the coronavirus actually pales in comparison to the death toll uh, annually from the run-of-the-mill flu virus. Uh, there are also vaccines available for that uh, flu, yet many people around the world don't bother getting that, uh, myself unfortunately included. Why is that? Why is there so much fear over the coronavirus uh, and yet the regular flu is very dangerous and yet people seem to ignore the vaccines that are already out there? Well, that's a good question, but I, th I think obviously people do fear when a, a, a new infection comes along and there's still a lot we don't know about this new virus. People remember what happened in, in the uh, early, uh, in, in 2002, 2003 with SARS when there was quite a high mortality. But but you're right, this, uh, this new virus appears to have a much lower uh, mortality, perhaps in the region of 1%. Uh, maybe even less than that, because there are probably a lot of mild or asymptomatic cases that are not yet uh, uh, have not yet come to light. Uh, absolutely, the, f people should be getting vaccinated against flu, uh, particularly those that are, are, are most vulnerable, the elderly and people with uh, damaged immune systems. Right. And so, as far as the coronavirus is actually concerned, though, I mean. All realistic measures, it feels like, have, have been taken to prevent the spread even at the expense of the economy, uh, do you feel prevention is being taken very and appropriately very seriously? Well, certainly it is. Uh, the uh, uh, evacuation of citizens to various countries in the UK is going to evacuate uh, uh, UK nationals, uh, I believe, tomorrow. Uh, and when these people return to, to their uh, native countries, uh, they're going to be asked to isolate themselves for 14 days, which is the maximum incubation period of the virus. So, uh, and obviously, China has, has taken very major measures uh, to, to try and restrict the spread of the virus. But despite that, there obviously has been a uh, major spread and, and many more cases uh, are being identified day by day. Okay, Andrew Friedman joining us there from Cardiff. Thanks so much for that.